Hey, okay, so we want to do a video. I've been kind of compiling quotes that the types have said for like last six months. And then I was going to do a video on it sooner, but I just couldn't get certain types to like get quotes from them. So just over the last six months, I've been kind of like noting funny things that the types say, or if I'm like, wow, that really seems like something that type would say. I just kind of wrote it down. I haven't really looked at these in a long time, so we'll see how it is. I just kind of jotted these down in my notes app. And then you guys can like add to the comments as well, I guess. Okay, so ESG, I have a lot of ESTJ ones. I have like three, which is a lot for how many I got. Uh, ESTJ, get your eyes off the future. When you look to the future, it's overwhelming and unknown. But when you look to the past and how things have gone, you rest easy. And I just thought that was kind of funny. That's that's a very, like, that's a very, like, SI second, any third thing, any. It's like, oh, no, scary, scary future. Like, don't look to the future. Past, past is good. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, another ESTJ quote that I heard. Okay, you need to focus on IPAs. What what is it? I forgot. Performance indicators of performance or something is what that was. I can't remember what that was. You need to focus on IPAs. Which activities would actually produce? Oh, income producing activities. That's what it was. Which activities would actually produce income and not just be part of self expression? More power to you if you want to be creative, but that's not going to move the needle. You can't cash self expression at the bank to pay your mortgage. <laughs> That one hurt my soul. <laughs> I know. I, 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 as soon as the USTJ said that, I read that to a few uh, FPs, and they're like, "You, <laughs> that's such that's such an ESTJ quote." <laughs> okay, it's the last ESTJ quote. Sometimes tradition gets a bad rap, like that's just a thing of the past. But I'm a big fan of tradition. I think there's rich history to be gleaned from the past. Yeah. That's a classic, like, I feel like I hear people giving advice about their second function a lot. And so the fact that they're like, you know, tradition's good, rich history, very like SI, they're really advocating for SI. I feel like that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. These ones from, e okay. The next personality is ESTP. It's super short. Okay. ESTP. Uh, <laughs> it's like, yo, these new egg controllers feel so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like ESTP is just, bah! Oh, jeez. Wow. Wow. Warner person. Uh, yeah. There's, I feel like anything that's like with sensory, like technology, you get a lot of ESTPs really into like technology stuff. Like this controller is slightly better than this one because you can like move a little faster with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, another one, ready, fire, aim. Oh yeah. Classic. That's a good advice for the <laughs> ISPs. Learn from the ESTPs. Yeah. Fire first, aim later. Bad advice probably for ESTPs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plan out more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, should have bought a Honda, but I bought a Kia. <laughs> I don't even know where these come from. <laughs> just like saying like random stuff. I feel like some of these quotes are not going to fully encompass the types, but it's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's not super fully encompassing. Okay, okay. ISTJ. I've been going through my files slowly but surely the last two weeks. I have all my pay stubs back to 89. I'm learning not all files are worth saving, but files are worth saving if it's part of your history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's an SI dom. Who said that? I was like, wow, what an ISTJ quote. That is an ISTJ quote. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I have to write that one down. You have any thoughts on that? No, they love the documents. Documents, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that it was pay stubs, too. It's like a little TE. Yeah. It's the documentation of your TE. <laughs> of your producing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only one I have for that one. Oh, some of the types I have way more quotes. Some of the types I don't have that many quotes on. Okay, ISFP. Oh, this was a joke. This was a joke that you told me. It was not really a joke, but it's like, how do you eat an elephant? I'm like, hmm, how, one bite at a time? False, you don't eat elephants. And you just like yelled at me. You're like, <laughs> false, you don't eat elephants. I feel like the reason that seemed kind of like ISFP is like the FI gives you the care for like animals. And then SE is like, ah! yeah, like kind of the yelling part of the joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bottom line isn't money, it's your happiness. That's right. Wow, the opposite <laughs> of the ESTJ Take quote. Take that ESTJ quote. <laughs> This is a lot shorter also. This, these are like way shorter quotes. The ESTJ one was like, here's the thesis. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't look at road signs. 
<laughs> I feel like INFPs also. Don't yeah. Make sense. yeah, I feel like TE is very good. Okay, the signage, here's the system. This is, you know, the external rules or whatever. And then when you have it fourth, it's like, oh, no, I don't look at those. No. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, ISTP. Okay, this was, I wonder if I got this whole thing. Okay, this, I was talking to an ISTP and they're a commuter. And so this is them talking about their commute. It's like an hour commute. I had to make the drive interesting. I count the trucks I pass, but I had to have some parameters. They have to have, they have to be a semi with a tandem axle. Well, I'm not sure if that's what you call it on a truck. That's at least what you call it on a trailer. <laughs> and I stopped at that <laughs> point because I was like, that's pretty much just like enough for this ISTP. <laughs> this like little game for themselves while they're commuting. That's has very to be a semi. detail specific. Yeah, to the car. it has to be a semi with a tandem axle. And then there's the TI correction. Well, I'm not sure if that's what you call it on a truck. That's what you call oh, it no. on a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, TI yeah, does a lot of self-correcting. Yeah. Okay, this one. Okay, some of these, like I didn't, like I'm not as technically skilled in some of these things, but this one was the Mini Mag is a 13.25 velocity. Winchester made a 14.35 on a rifle. Those numbers might not be correct, but I, though that was like the gist of it. it was, it was, I just thought that was very ISTP. Okay, the final ISTP one. Critique my meatloaf. Need anything? <laughs> I One thing I appreciate about TI, especially TI dominant, is that they're just very like, critique me. What does it need? Tell me. I'll do it. But it's very short. Just This was, this was, this was, this one I, or I remember it and it was verbatim. Critique my meatloaf. Need anything? Yeah. Just like so short. TI doms are really good at taking criticism. They welcome it. Yes. That is, I think that is, is so cool. great. You can just be so blunt. Mm -hmm. And they're just so quick. They'll so quickly just be like, yes, that's right. Yes, I shouldn't have done that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes for a really easy, like short conversation. I enjoy that. Okay. INFP. Your productivity is not your purpose. This is very similar to the ISFP one. one. The ISFP one, the bottom line isn't money, it's your happiness. The INFP, your productivity is not your purpose. Very similar. <laughs> this is battle of T E and F I. Viewers' <laughs> purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that's the epitome. Okay, there was another quote. Um, INFP, this is my last one. This is my last INFP one. I didn't have I don't have I don't feel like these are as good as they could have been, but Clear out your phone before the year ends. Delete conversations you no longer need, photos and videos that require effort and energy. Some memories loop you in a pattern. Detach from hoarding moments that no longer serve your elevation. This struck me so much as SI third. This whole memories loop you in a pattern. Detach from hoarding moments that no longer serve your elevation. Yeah, serving your elevation seems like an FI dumb yes, term. Yes, serve your elevation. F -I -N -E. You're going to be enlightened. <laughs> Just rise. <laughs> yeah. Into a new chakra. No, 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 no. <laughs> that sort of stuff is very INFP ish. Yeah. That's all, okay. There's only two I have for INFP. I did not get as many for that one. Okay, ENFP. ENFP. I dated a bartender briefly and I learned how to properly taste test liquor. This is what ENFP? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my only ENFP one. I feel like I should have. <laughs> I feel like I should have had more ENFP. But I guess we're not really around any recently. And it was the last six months I was doing this. Uh, yeah. Do we have anything else? I know. We've got to have one from your sister. Yeah. Okay. Okay. ENFP calls me and just like, hey, just wanted to let you know I was pooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's or the drop food on the ground. <laughs> okay. ENTJ. Oh, no. I need to come back to this because I wrote down. Okay. That's what I wrote down. I said screenshot. Uh, I don't if you have any great quotes from types, feel yes, free to write it down. comment them also. Yes, or just the gist of them if you don't know exactly. Yeah, you with, just the make TI, a with the TI, with the TI, it's kind of important that they're exact. <laughs> <laughs> because they it just jumps out the way things are worded. Um, okay, I think this is an ENTJ quote. An aha moment was another aha moment was how so many of these entrepreneurs had freed up their time to the point that their sole focus was networking and traveling. They had teams that ran the business without them while they did what a CEO does best. Go out and look for opportunities and new ideas that would further their business even more. They weren't executing things in the present. They were planning things for the future. Yeah, that does sound like Andy. That's some good. That's like I learned the lesson. I don't need to execute things in the present. I need to plan things for the future. It's given some NI advice. I feel yeah. like people give advice on their second function. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but the whole thing is just about CEOs. They're and resourcing they everyone around them with their yes. key. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's the only ENTJ quote I have also. Okay, ENTP. <laughs> I forgot about this. I go through too many phones. I was cooking and smelt smoke billowing, and I looked down and my phone was sitting on the burner. <laughs> yeah, probably both ETPs, I yes, feel like, just go through phones. phones. Like, probably have a phone a year for ETPs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, partially because they want, well, actually less with the ESTP. I feel like ENTPs go through just new technology, like the new technology, new, new, mm -hmm. new, and they just like get so much new technology. And then in addition to that, they lose so much stuff. Mm, okay. Oh, this was the story. I, okay. I just tried it in the story, so I don't have it verbatim, which is unfortunate with the ENTP, but it was like, so I was flying to Columbia and then I accidentally... How did it go? He's like, I accidentally missed my flight. So then I had to route to New Jersey and then I fell asleep before boarding. And so then I had, so then I had to get a new flight and then I had to go down to Miami and then went down to Columbia. And then when I came back to route from Arizona, I accidentally did a plus two instead of a plus one. So it meant I had a 24 hour layover. <laughs> that seems like. like so it was both, like three issues. Both any doms. I feel like the ENFP also because of that lower SI maybe or uh -huh. something just not SI is so details. detail oriented yeah yeah the devil's in the details I think is a very ENP yeah. issue <laughs> <laughs> there's all these like accidental mishaps mm -hmm. I hear about mishaps from ENPs all the time yeah. okay okay INTP I only have I think I have one the INTP this one the clearest sign of intellectual chemistry isn't agreeing with someone it's enjoying your disagreements with them Harmony is the pleasing arrangement of different tones, voices, or instruments, not the combination of identical sounds. Creative tension makes beautiful music. There's like all sorts of functions going on in there. I feel like it's definitely, you definitely see a lot of TIFE in that um, because of just like the disagreements, but having harmony while you do it, this whole NE analogy that's like you need to have harmony and to have harmony you got to have all these different tones and voices yeah. and uh not identical sounds i thought that was a great intp quote fantastic job intp that's my only intp quote yeah intps love debate it seems like yeah and not in the entp way but they're more they it seems like it's more like rooting out truth like it seems like entps it's more like oh it's fun to argue mm -hmm. for intps it's almost like it's just fun to root out the truth yeah and when you disagree it's like a means to an end right like that you use debating right as a tool as opposed to like you just love it in and of itself yeah a lot of people don't like disagreement but intp seem to really like it yeah uh, they probably wouldn't i don't know yeah i wonder if they would call it disagreement or what they would call it yeah okay intj okay this one's a picture it's an instagram account i follow and it just struck me as very intj-ish um, if you are overthinking, write. If you are underthinking, read. Ooh, what do we... Can't focus. Oh, mirror. Is it mirrored? Yeah, I can't unmirror it here. Oh, well, this whole aesthetic, the whole, like, black, the whole minimalism, just the two colors, black and white, there were a lot of things about it that just seemed very INTJ-ish to me. Mm. Just very visual. And the whole account is, like, these really minimal, it's called Magical Visionary. I don't even know if I follow it anymore, but it just gives me INTJ vibes for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, the other INTJ quote. Birth control is the opposite of survival of the fittest. Smart people use it <laughs> and don't reproduce, and dumb people don't use it, and they have more children. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that quote. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, what more to say about it? <laughs> Okay. Okay. ISFJ. I can't get rid of my second heirloom sewing machine. It's sentimental. I need both. There you go. If it's you like have, these... if you have more than one sewing machine, you're an SI dumb. Okay, we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you have a ton of heirlooms, ISFJ, and you like treasure them. Yeah. When you grow up in a family like mine, you learn to adapt to others around you. What was that one? Sorry. When you, grow up? when you grow up in a family like mine, you learn to adapt to others around you. Hmm. It's like this, mm -hmm. I am the way I am because of 
the past and my family. They're very like, you know, I think like nature and nurture. SI is very like nurture based. Yeah. Um, and that's like the Effie second place blending in sort of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and then the last ISFJ one, what does everyone want to do or what does everyone want to put on the Christmas December bucket list? <laughs> that one's almost kind of like ESFJ ish, but it's mm-hmm. like, okay, these are all the things that we're going to do as a family to make the holiday season. Great. SFJs are great at the festivities. They bring it in. Mm-hmm. The holiday routines. They've got it. Okay, ESFJ. I only have the one. This was a memory from a long time ago because I'm not really around any ESFJs right now. Okay, this is the, I think it's a Lilo and Stitch quote. So family means no one gets left behind. You're a part of this family now and you call me if you need anything. You hear me? Anything. <laughs> So yeah. sometimes you get the Zephy Doms and they say stuff and you're like, oh, yeah. they care about me. I am part of the family, aren't I? <laughs> I always think of, I don't know if uh, Vin Diesel from Fast and Furious is an ESFJ, but he always strikes me as like, but his character, the way he's like, he's always like family. Yeah. Uh, the whole emphasis. Yes. And he brings everyone no into this family. Come make on. Sure, yes. Know. ESFJ. Yeah. They have their own family, their biological family. And then they just bring in more and more and more and more people yeah that like become family Mm -hmm. okay infj i only have the one for infj i was upset for like two minutes but then i thought about it and tried to see it from their point of view so i typed out my feelings and then deleted it and i was fine so i didn't feel the need to talk to them about it (laughs) this is when they were like talking about someone had hurt their feelings or whatever so like so i just like typed it out and it was fine no need to talk to them about it (laughs) this is just very like I feel like it's partially like the NIs, like I see their point of view. So it's hard to be mad at them because I just got inside their point of view so much that it's all good. But then also the FE seconds, like I don't need to talk to them about it. Like I just wrote out my feelings. So I don't need to talk to them about it anymore. It's like a little scared of confrontation almost. Yeah. It's kind of like tricking yourself into like, oh, I don't need to talk to them about it. Right. Yeah. FE Dom seem pretty good at if they have something they're upset about addressing it. I think this can avoid it. Hmm, I'm not sure if I agree. But yeah, I would say FE is definitely correlated with the tendency to avoid disagreements. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like TI is going toward disagreements and distinctions, and FE is going away from mm-hmm. differences, distinctions. It's kind of like FE is kind of like, we're just going to be all this one big unit. That's what we all have in common. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ENFJ. This was, I was in a conversation with an ENFJ and I don't remember what was going on, but I was just, I think I was just feeling a little lost and this was a few years ago and I was just feeling kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And I think I told them a story and then they responded. They're like, oh, I can't imagine. I'm trying to use their tone of voice also. Oh, I can't imagine. I can't even imagine what that must have felt like. She's like, you know, I was going through this actually a while back and I, this is, I thought of that, so I have to like paraphrase this now. She's like, but I heard this analogy that it's like, maybe you feel like you're just walking around a mountain in circles and you're just going and going and going and you're never making any progress. And you're like, wow, I've seen this tree before. I've seen this tree before. I've seen this tree before. And she's like, what you don't realize is that if you see it from a different perspective, you're actually going in an upward spiral. So you might pass this tree over here, but it's from a different perspective now. And it's from a different perspective now. It's from a different perspective now. And this just whole like growth Metaphor and analogy seemed very NI to me, this particular one. And then the fact that she was like, oh, I can't imagine what you must have gone through. And just that whole tone of voice of like, oh, I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Jays, they Good work. ENFJs. Good work. Good work. <laughs> okay. Last one. ESFP. I only have one quote. These, <laughs> these last few ones are the ones that I'm like having a hard time. <laughs> okay. Our capacity to create is directly related to our capacity to play. That kind of is like ENFP-ish also, but. Mm -hmm. also ESFP-ish. For sure. Yeah. Just like the more you play, the more you create. And especially this create was in the context of like work, like your capacity to create in a work setting is directly related Mm -hmm. to your capacity to play. And so that really reminded me of like TE third. There's like a little bit of that work, like career element. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like it. Yeah. So those are my quotes. Okay. I've been hanging on to these and eventually I was like, I need to just... I need to just post these because <laughs> I'm never going to get some of these quotes. So I need to just try to remember some quotes, what they are. Yeah, you can delete it from your phone. Oh, finally. Yeah, I know. I can lose up. Okay. So one thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to, okay, end of this live and then I'm going to private it 
And then I'm going to post it a couple days from now just because I want to space out the upload. So if you try to come back and watch this, you're not going to be able to for a couple days. So hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. I think it should be fine. <laughs> we'll find out. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you guys, okay, also as a side note, what do you guys think of the live stream format? Because it's kind of nice because it doesn't require any editing. Um, but probably pros and cons too. Like I'm thinking there might be a little bit of a lag here. I just, because I hooked up my camera today. So yeah, if you have any feedback about like live streaming versus videos, let me know. Okay, sweet. Bye guys. See ya.